It's now 2.30. We finally made it to our Airbnb. Our hands are like weirdly springy. My made feet it. We survived have it. like swollen. My arms are burnt to a crisp. We haven't showered, we haven't brushed our teeth. We are disgusting. disgusting. Hi guys, I'm Emily. I'm Tom. I'm from Australia. I'm from England. And welcome to our channel. Last time you saw us, we were in Italy. We're now in Athens. I've spent the past two weeks in Italy and then exploring some of the Greek islands. I spent the last two weeks in isolation and then I was working at a festival. A couple of days ago, we reunited in Athens. Since then, we've actually had an awesome time. One of our favorite things that we've discovered is Rick Steve's audio tours. So we've been going to all the ancient sites and basically getting a free walking tour. Yeah, which has been awesome. We've also, as ever, eaten a lot of amazing food. And so we thought, what could we want to do more but eat more amazing food? Our favorite travel vlogging couple is called Cara and Nate. When they came to Athens in 2016, they did a walking tour. We watched it and we discovered that they had eaten so many foods that we hadn't even heard of. Yeah. So we thought this morning, instead of trying to do it ourselves, we would actually join the same food tour that they did. Let's That's do it. it. Okay. So we're meant to get to our walking tour by quarter past nine. It's now quarter past nine and our next train doesn't come for another five minutes. In our relationship, I was always on time for things, but when I met Emily... Literally? No. The opposite. <laughs> I went down and checked out early and then you decided to do a poo. <laughs> which you always do at the most inconvenient times. And now we're going to be late for our tour. No, we're not. But we are. You actually can't get vaccinated and then go on holidays. You have to wait two weeks. They already got their bags packed and ready to go, but they won't be able to leave for another two weeks. They'll just have to wait at the port for a really long time. We just arrived and we're going to go find our tour. Together we are going to explore the back street. Sure. We are going to see where the locals go out for eating, uh, having their drinks. It's going to be a whole Athenian experience. Have you eaten any breakfast? No. no. Good choice. Well, our first stop, which we're both massively looking forward to. Creek donuts called local madness. The donuts dipped in honey, so sprinkled honey with here. cinnamon. Look at all that honey. Mm. That's even better than I thought it would be. What do you rate them out of 10? Seven and a half. That's a harsh rate. But I got them. Local madness. Oh, they're so yummy. <laughs> <laughs> they're tastier than a traditional donut. They're really fried and crispy, and this honey is so tasty. Mm. I think I'm gonna give it an eight. Okay. The bread is quite sweet. It's like crusty on the outside, like quite spongy on the inside. Yeah, you I like, like it? it. I don't like it as much as the donuts. Okay. I'm gonna give it a five. But these aren't it's... real ratings of the bread. But it's yeah. just how much we like them. Yeah. Kulori. Not nice. I love how much sesame there is on it. Mm. We have had this before. Yeah, with we all had it before. Nice. What do you rate it then? It's pretty simple, so it's not gonna blow my mind. I'm actually gonna give it a seven. Now one of our favorite parts of any city, she's taking us to the food market. I don't think we were actually getting anything from that market. No, we're not getting anything from the market. Raw fish and meat. And meat. And we didn't get offered any raw fish and meat. Maybe <laughs> next time. Maybe next time. <laughs> raw meat. They're like, try this. Yeah. Alright, we've got some caramelized peanuts here. The Greeks eat them as a snack. There's no Greek name to them, and here we go. 
Yeah, they're really yummy. They got like a sweet coating and then like really crunchy. I want that. Seven and a half now. Mm, yum. I love how sesame is on it. 7.8. Halva. Halva. You pronounce very nice. Yeah, perfect. Halva. And it's a mix of something with something in it. Sugar, and she said some people don't like it, but it's very healthy. It's a bit like praline, but not quite. I'm still going to give that a seven and a half because it's healthy. So much more dense than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Oh, okay. It tastes like what I expect the texture of like chalk <laughs> right. to be. Five? Which means shorties because they're tiny pears. Now, I'm not normally a big pear fam. It's good for a pear. Good cool it. Dang. I said it's nicer than a normal pear. So I try to pick. Are these sucos? Sico. Sico. You tried it. I did read it, yeah. I studied ancient Greek for a long time. We're going to discuss about that. <laughs> See, got some fake. I'm gonna eat it whole because it's really I squishy. think you have to have it with cheese. That was really yummy. Eight and a half. Sico. Mm. Seven. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was great. He just threw you a pack. Yeah. Well, I guess we're eating. 10.50 a.m. and we've gone to the liquor store. It smells very heavy. Sage. Sage liquor. Yamas. Yamas. Oh, that's actually really yummy. <laughs> really, really tasty. I don't like alcohol. Much alcohol. For alcohol, this is like a nine. It's, yeah. it's super sweet, which I think for alcohol is what you like. I think it's safe seven. I love the sage. Mm, oh, I can yeah. smell the grape. Oh, that's so nice as well. <laughs> I love it. I need to get bottles of this. I, think I like that more. It's more citrusy. Fluffy. It's for the social media. Oh, yum. <laughs> yeah. It's actually it for really the good. Media? Yes, we will. <laughs> Come here Holy for some that. really great liquors. <laughs> like, yeah. really, there. That smells really good. <laughs> That's my favorite, easy. Eight and a half. And this is my very fancy rose one because I felt a bit Turkish inspired. Oh, cool, yeah. So good. My last name mm. is Polikala. When people ask you how you are, you say polycala. Polycala. And that's my last name. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Mm. That was very nice. That was like Turkish delight. Yeah, it was so tasty. You having fun on this tour? That <laughs> oh, was so fun. Basurma. Basurma, a cured meat. It looks like the strami with different spices and some cheese and some brusque. Mmm, quite like to eat. I know I'm biased because it's our first real savory thing, but I only go nine. I feel like this is gonna be my mm. favorite. Well, our initial reservation with this tour is because it was a sweet tour. I'm finally getting some savory. I think this may possibly be one of my favorites. Yeah. I'm gonna give that a nine too. Oh, God. That slab of salt. That's salt. Is that not pink Himalayan salt? Himalayan salt. This yeah. One? Himalayan pink salt. We've just come into a little tavern, the Avli Siri. Supposedly, it has amazing, authentic Greek food for very, very cheap prices. Definitely Fun. worth coming here. Yeah. yeah. Olive oil with some crunchy bread. Mm. I thought she said eight. Wow, really good olive oil. That sounds good. Really good olive oil. They drink 17 liters. 17 liters a year. We are amazing. Melis. Or Elia. 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 Oh, uh, you look like a normal olive. That's not normal. Oh, thank you. Good? <laughs> no, actually, nine and a half. Whoa. 
real. We're back on track with scoring. Oh, yeah. I don't even like Kalamata olives that much, bro. This is the best olive <laughs> I've ever eaten. That's so good. <laughs> At this point in the tour, the audio on our camera stopped recording. So to help us out today, we have my sister Susie providing lip reading services for us. Over to you, Susie. Okay. So good. Eight. This is feta. This is even better than the Aldi version. Probably gonna give it a 7.5 because that's what I give everything. This is water. Good to keep hydrated on these trips. Ah, oh, that smells so good. Drinking water at 4 p.m. Just to clarify, that was Tsiporo, a 40% alcohol spirit, and way too much for that time in the morning. Oh, it smells bad. A more palatable Greek yogurt with sour cherries. That's so good. It's the best Greek yogurt I've had. It's so bitter and the cherry is so sweet. Nine and a half. Still got my seafood. That's good. I don't know the Greek yogurt from this yet, that's do Yeah. I might sip nine and a half as well. That's delicious. Let's just drink four or five. Mastika, which is from the sap of tree. Yamas. <laughs> this is only 15%. This is much more stomach cool. It's quite nice. Six and a half, seven. Okay, that's better than three. Yeah. Six, six and a half. I'm going to attempt this one. Yeah. Oh, this one's not that bad. Yeah, right? It's really florally. Yeah, it's quite nice. Six and a half. Savory spinach pie. Spanakopita. Spanakopita. So it's deep fried filo with spinach, dill, and green onion. And it looks delicious. 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 <laughs> Pedanostimo. Pedanostimo is still. Nine out of ten. It looks, it's really good. I have an irrational dislike of dill just because I had food poisoning restaurants. But this does look very good. It just smells a lot of dill. I think it, I'm going to give it eight simply because of the dill. If I like dill, it would, I'm sure it would be like a nine, nine, nine. Yeah. Very good, very tasty. It's got custard cream filling. Mmm. I love it. I'm feeling it eight and a half. Very, very nice. So you make it for yourself or for a coach or for something? It's for YouTube, good. basically. Because I make films at home and we both travel a lot. And we think, we think we're relatively funny. You think? What? <laughs> we're slightly entertaining. Uh huh. Oh, we thought we should give it a go. It'll be such a good thing to look back on regardless. Of of like, we're not expecting it to be big or like... Mm. We're going to do our best, but we don't... Our hearts not depend. Like, we don't want to become... Perfect. You can look up Emily and Tom on YouTube. Yeah. Mm. That'd be great. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Mm. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Just because it's sweet. Sweet. Well, that fountain goes backwards. The backwards fountain. Final meal. Gyros. I got chicken. We got pork. I'm so full. But you love gyros. But I love gyros, so I'm gonna enjoy it anyway. <laughs> really good. I'm gonna go eight and a half. Can you do the pork one? Yes, yeah, compare it. You didn't seem very hesitant then, did you? I think I prefer the pork. Eight and a half. When did you do it? Okay, can you rate it? Who's <laughs> eating it? I feel like if I was more hungry, I would be like, Yeah, it's really good. Eight and a half, nine. Chicken. For some reason, I prefer the chicken. Solid nine, 9.2. Now we're going to the stop that I'm probably most excited about, which isn't food. Last stop. I'm just looking at you being like, What an uh, idiot. I 
feel like I've had even stronger, but it gets stronger as you get to the bottom of the cup. Don't drink that. Don't drink that. <laughs> Look how fluffy this is. Oh, it smells sweet. Oh, yummy. Maybe for some people. Our tour finished about 3.30 in the end. We started our tour at 9. Six hours. It was so much fun. We got to taste so many foods that we wouldn't have tasted otherwise. What was your favourite food? My favourite sweet food was the first dish that we had, which was fried donuts in honey. I think my favourite savoury food was this rusk with cheese and a Greek cured meat. It's very different to other cured meats. It's very tangy by itself, but yeah, it was really delicious. What about you? I think my favourite sweet thing was probably that custard pie. It was just super tasty. Although I loved the fig as well. And then my favorite savory thing was the Kalamata olives. They were just so juicy. Maybe the best olives I've ever had. They were just insane. And the olive oil we had with them was crazy. That's the end of our first part of this crazy day. But the second part of our crazy day starts now. We're going to head back to the hotel, grab our bags, and then we're going to go to the big port here. And we're going to catch a pretty insane fairy. Keep tuned for that episode because we're going to do a little video on that next. Keep tuned. See, See you, you next. next. Mm. That's nice. Yeah, they're really yummy. Mm. Yum. Oh, okay. So nice. Oh, yum. <laughs> so tasty. Mm. Really yummy. It's very nice. Mm. I thought you said it easy. Wow. Yeah. Oh, God. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good.